from the advances in precision medicine. Genomic testing is the future of cancer in every possible way. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Care that never quits. Appointments available now. You know, I really think the NSA is turning into me, the house guest who just won't leave. I am that guest. I am the NSA. What it's doing is even worse than I would be doing at your house just being a couch potato. I, I, I would do what it's doing and listen in on your calls, too. Uh, I even learn, well, what your emails are all about. Read every single one of them. That's what the IRS is now charged with doing, and the NSA, more to the point, mining millions of them to see who sent what and when. Lizzie McDonald, Adam Lashinsky, Gene Marks on snooping that's getting a little exhausting. Lizzie? You know, <laughs> Here's the problem. I mean, it, P, Americans really want to catch terrorists. They support the government, say, yeah, catch terrorists. It's great. Let's do it. But when you're doing it without really indicating to Congress what you're doing and then going after the fact to get congressional review of what you're doing, and uh, when it's emails, emails bother me because emails show your location. Also, what about what you write in the subject line of your email? Because they're, they're, the NSA is saying we didn't view the content of your email. People use the subject line all the time. And what bothers me about this story, too, is that Senator Ron Wyden asked the director of intelligence, James Clapper, are you collecting data on millions of Americans? And he flatly said no. And now we have this email controversy popping up. Well, the email one they're saying is, what's, there's no news here. Um, no. What do you think of that, James? First of all, I'm, I'm, I'm quite flattered that somebody's actually reading my emails. You know, most of the time I send them, nobody responds back. So that, that's kind of a good sign. Yeah, and, and when I make a list of, like, the top 50 things that are, like, on my mind today, my problems, Neil, I mean, you know, you know I just, I've, I mean, problem with a specific customer just today. You know, yeah. I have a big softball game on Sunday. Uh, you know, whether or not the government you're is reading my emails. You're a softball game? Oh, uh, I'm playing in a softball game on Sunday, and that's yeah, on my mind yeah, today. Yeah, your opponent's emails. Emails themselves are not bothering. Whatever the government is reading in my email, believe me, they can read whatever they want. Does it? And if it's helping them protect us and provide that kind of security, it's just You're not. You're okay with us. It's not on my list of the 50 things I'm worrying about, no. and it really hasn't been. Okay. Adam, what do you make of that? Is this on your list of worries? Well, no. Well, yeah, I would say yes and no. So, first of all, you know, it's a funny joke to say it's fine if they read my emails. We should be clear that the if what we know so far, they're not reading our emails and they're not listening into our phone calls. They're looking at this data and they're trying to mine something, uh, you know, with it using algorithms yeah, but, but to try to prevent right, you're terrorism. Right. No, you're actually very right. But let's take it. You know, once you have all of that stuff, the next step would be eavesdropping. The yeah. next step would be reading all the above. And by the way, just collecting the emails um, leads me to believe they're not just sort of sitting on a desk or in a computer. Well, Neil, but the next step that you raise is actually the least troublesome of all, because the next step would be, you know, old fashioned going to the judge and, and asking I for see, I don't think it does. Uh, I don't, given permission. the history of this government, I don't think they even bother with the judge. And to Lizzie's point where they've asked after the fact for this sort of stuff, it concerns me, Lizzie. That's yeah. what concerns me. And that's me. where I said that I am concerned, okay. Neil. Yeah. I mean, right. I, I right. completely support that well, we, you know, we investigate this, we write about it, we make right. sure that they've got the right. permission they to do what they're doing. They and, the, and, the, and the thing, too, is who has security clearance to do this? I mean, and who? And the thing is, the, they can say that they're making, that they are not reading emails. But, you know, time and again, I don't believe, again, I don't believe, I don't I don't believe, believe it either. And, 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 and the it so violates the Fourth Amendment. Exactly. And look at the history on this. The first, it's only a few conservative groups turned out to be hundreds. Uh, we never went after individuals turned out to be several big donors. Uh, so everything you've told me, government, IRS, is a lie. Uh, when, when we first uncovered the AP reporters supposedly targeted, that was it, only a few. Then it extended to a, a Fox News reporter and even some executives. So I don't believe anything you say. I am never but confident Neil, that anything you say ends it. That's my point, Jim. I, I understand that, Neil, but you know, when, when, you, when you look at first those... No, you're too busy playing softball. <laughs> and then you're willing to <laughs> Let the government continue yeah, to play hard. On my mind, I have not been hitting well recently, and it's just on my mind. Not okay, fine. Keep playing, well, keep because you're running when, around the bases when, when and I they're about, running and destroying this country. When I think about security, though, first of all, does the government <laughs> have the resource to sit around and read all of my and Liz's and Adam's? Sure, they do. Yes, yes, why not? Yes, they Liz, do. Why would they? Look, you're a very nice no, person. They don't. Sir, you're a nice person don't too. Don't take this the wrong way. I don't think they care about what's in your email. I don't, you don't, I don't see what they're doing. I'm fine. I'm fine. How did James Rosen get caught up in? Nonsense. But, you know, it really depends on who the person is and what. We have 330 million people in this She's country. She's one of the Mistakes most honored and celebrated reporters in America. <laughs> no, serious. So nice I'm just saying, guys, and, and Anna, this is what worries me about all this. When so much, Neil, calm down, don't be worried. 
Uh, I've mentioned many times on this show, the Twilight Zone episode where all these guys uh, from planet Earth are running into an alien spaceship and turns out it was a cookbook <laughs> and they're going to be ingredients in someone's salad. Your answer. And what, uh and what, I, and what I'm saying is, Neil, don't calm down. Go ahead and be, go ahead and be worried, but All that right. we want to work with the government to do this well. But it I always mean, seems worse you know, after the fact. It Adam always is seems always to very understanding. Gene is very understanding. I'm understanding. All, I'm, just, I'm just trying not I'm to pop it up. I'm understanding to a degree. Yeah. I don't like that all of a sudden it's worse after the fact. The news comes out and it always seems well, to be worse. Well, next week, next week Gene's team is playing the IRS All-Stars. <laughs> <laughs> no fly balls. Oh, that, Hit it on oh, the ground. Oh, how that one goes. Uh, all right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. In the meantime, gobble it up, then pay up. How Washington is looking to take a bite out of your wallet for every bite you take, period. Cavuto is brought to you by the Venture Card from Capital One. Earn double miles you can actually use. Alec, for this mission, I've upgraded your smartphone. Uh, right, but the most important feature of all is... Uh, the Capital One Purchase Eraser. I can redeem the double miles I earned with my Venture Card to erase recent travel purchases. And with a few clicks, this mission never happened. Uh, what's this button do? You requested backup? Yes. Yes, I did. What's in your wallet? Friday through Sunday at Joseph A. Bank. Get 50% off almost all suits and sport coats. Plus, your third is free. That's three for the price of one. 50% off and third free only at Joseph A. Bank. If your magic phone company gives you empty promises, it's time to get back to basics. Sign up for Basic Talk. Unlimited calling for only $9.99 a month with no annual contract. It's a home phone service you can count on. It's not magic. It's Basic Talk. Call, click, or go to Walmart today. Looking sharp, Len. Who's the lucky lady? I'm going to the bank to discuss a mortgage. <sighs> See, you need a loan, you put on a suit, you go crawling to the bank. This is how I dress to get a mortgage. <laughs> I just go to Lending Tree. I calculate how much home I can afford. I get multiple offers to compare side by side. And the best part is, the banks come crawling to me. Everything you need.